In this video, I will review two Chinese-made wireless ultrasound units. This is a very exciting new technology, and I think it will become the future of point-of-care ultrasound for the clinician. I'm a general surgeon working in Congo, and I rely heavily on, on ultrasound. This is because I have uh, limited diagnostic options, and ultrasound is something that is cheap and readily available. For many years, I've used uh, Sonosite systems. Uh, Sonosite is a reliable, portable ultrasound with, uh, with very good image. Mostly, I use an M-Turbo, and I regularly use a curved abdominal probe, a linear probe, and a cardiac probe. Sonosite is pretty expensive, though, and my experience is that these units usually fail after a couple of years, and when it fails, it usually requires replacing the whole motherboard and having the probes checked out and often replaced. So I started wondering if there might be a cheaper options, a cheaper option. Well, as it turns out, you can buy some pretty inexpensive ultrasound units on eBay. I can't vouch for them all, but I have bought two units from two Chinese companies, and I have been pleasantly surprised. Um, I bought these two wireless probes, which you see, and uh, they can be used either with Android or uh, iOS or Windows. And uh, it is actually amazingly convenient to carry a probe and an iPhone in your pocket. Obviously, the image quality will not be the same as the Sonosite, but I found that it's actually quite usable. Um, one of the uh, wireless probes uh, actually has a very good image quality, and I'll talk about that one. Um, connecting the probes to your device is easy and reliable. Uh, these probes generate a Wi-Fi network, and um, the, your device then connects to that network. And then they each have their own proprietary app to use the ultrasound probe. And um, there's surprisingly little lag to the image. I was thinking that it would be really noticeable, but it was actually quite good. And I think that this is really a game-changing technology. And uh, I'm sure in the future it will become cheaper and better. But right now, uh, in 2017, you can carry an ultrasound probe with you and simply connect it to your phone or tablet. So I'm going to review these two units. Um, they're both Chinese made uh, and I bought them on eBay. Um, okay, they're probably not FDA approved and you maybe you couldn't use them in the US. One of them actually came labeled as a veterinary probe and uh, well guess what, it actually works quite fine on humans. Um, so the first unit is made by a company called Sonostar. Now it's really hard to know really which, what is a, a bona fide company from these uh, Chinese companies, but it seems like this is a bona fide a real uh, company. And uh, the Sonostar is this probe here, and it cost me about uh, $1,800 on eBay. And I purchased through a supplier called Chenma 792000. I have no idea who they are, but they seemed reliable and responsive. And you could probably make them an offer and get a slightly better price uh, if you wanted to see what they would accept. Now, this Sonostar unit is a 128 element curved probe. It seems well built. It runs off of a lithium ion battery. And I've taken the thing apart. It's actually not hard to take apart. You uh, open this thing up where the charger is. There's two little screws. And you loosen up the housing like this. And uh, there's some silicone sealant in there, um, which you'll have to replace afterwards. But it's quite easy to take this apart. It seems well built. Um, and the battery uh, comes out easily, but I haven't found the replacement battery yet. I've been looking, um, but so far I have not found it. Um, but it's, uh, it's a fairly standard looking uh, lithium ion uh, 3.8 volt battery, and it charges off of this micro USB port here. 
Um, so here are my comments about this unit. Um, it seems rugged and well built. Seems quite professional. Um, the app is called Wireless USG and it connects reliably. Um, the unit supports wireless charging as well, which is interesting. And uh, it charges also via this micro USB cable here. Um, there are lots of ways to optimize the image. You can easily change the depth by just dragging the image on the screen. Uh, you can change the dynamic range, use harmonics, uh, change the focus, and play with a number of different options on the screen. And uh, you can adjust the overall gain or you can use the on-screen gain sliders. Now the image is a little bit grainy, but it's overall it's not bad. And this is a this is a unit for point of care bedside ultrasound. It can allow you to do a fast exam. Uh, to do general abdominal or OB ultrasound. Uh, if you want to see something really subtle, you're probably going to want to switch to a higher end ultrasound unit. But for basic bedside stuff, this is more than adequate. Uh, there is no color, however. Um, but they do offer some higher priced units uh, that do have color. I haven't played around with that because I haven't uh, bought the higher priced units. Uh, this uh, saves images as a Cine loop, and it's very easy to cycle through the loop and select a good image. And then it's so easy to save the images. You just uh, save the image to your photo uh, folder on your device. You can save it as a still image or a clip, and uh, then you can easily email it or send it, uh, share the file in whatever way you would like to share it. Um, I have used this probe for interventional procedures and a needle shows up fairly well on the screen. Um, it can also be used during an operation and it's very easy to just drop this probe into a sterile bag or a, uh, um, a glove and the wireless aspect of this makes it very convenient. And so this is the Sonostar and I thought it was really great until I tried uh, another probe, which is made by a company called QSono. So this is the QSono, and this has a lot going for it. The best thing is that it is a modular system. There is one probe body, and then you can take off the head and switch it out with uh, a number of different heads that are available. This is a general curved probe, and this is a, a linear probe, and you just Stick it on like that, and uh, it's quite easy to change out. And it's really great to be able to have a couple different probe heads and use it for different applications. Um, the construction is not quite as nice as the Sonostar. The body is kind of plasticky. It's got a weird gold finish to it, which is already starting to rub off. Uh, the case is fairly easy to open up. Um, but you have to kind of super glue it back together afterwards. And the, the internal components are covered with lots of silicone adhesive. Uh, I'll show you a picture of this. Uh, there's a lithium polymer battery, which would probably be easy to source and to change, but you'd have to solder the, the wire connectors. Um, the probe charges via a micro USB port, but it comes with its own special adapter which puts out 12 volts and this would actually be kind of scary because it'd be really easy to plug your cell phone or something else into this uh, provided adapter which is 12 volts uh, rather than 5 point whatever and you would probably fry your phone with this cable and maybe burn it up. Uh, the, probe, uh, the probe charges uh, quickly and uh, keeps a charge for a long time, longer than the Sonostar. Um, and it doesn't heat up as much as the Sonostar, which is really nice. Um, the app is called W Hand Probe. And this was kind of tricky to find. There is an Android version as well as iOS and it also runs on Windows, but in Windows the interface is really glitchy and half the menus are in Chinese. And I'd probably stick with Android or iOS.
the app works okay, but sometimes uh, you have to shut it down and then reopen it. Um, seems to be a few more bugs than the other app. Um, but there are lots of options to, uh, to optimize the image. You can change the frequency, you can add harmonics, you can adjust the grayscale, the focus, etc. And then there's also a list of uh, preset settings. Um, these are listed as abdominal, gyne, OB, MSK, ortho, etc. Yeah, it takes a little bit of practice figuring out how to optimize the image, but the image on this is much better than the Sonos Star, and I'll show you some uh, examples of this image. So initially I thought I was getting a system with color, but no such luck. Uh, this cheaper system is only black and white. Um, I think that the color option costs about twice that much. I paid about 3000 for this unit and 300 for the extra heads. So 3,000 gets you one head and then an extra 300 for each additional head. Um, and like I said, you know, I bought this uh, from the same company on eBay, Chenma792000. And I was shipped in a, shipped in a timely manner, professionally done, uh, and uh, I was impressed with, uh, with uh, how, how it came. So here is the Sonos Star probe, and uh, you can see the serial number, and that's the same as the password for the Wi-Fi. Uh, there's a single button on here, and you push that gray button, and uh, then it'll turn on the Wi-Fi signal. You can see the, uh, the Wi-Fi network, and then you want to go to this app, which I've already installed, called Wireless USG. And then here you can see um, all the controls come up and uh, you can see that the probe uh, is alive. The button also works as a freeze. So using the QSONO is about the same. You uh, press the freeze button for a couple seconds and the probe will light up and the Wi-Fi signal will come on. Um, then you'll choose that as a network and the password is 12345678. And then the app name is W Hand Probe, and you can see uh, you can see it comes on, and it, a lot of uh, possibilities. The uh, the options for color, however, do not work. So you'll see comparative images of the two probes here. This is the Sonos Star probe with the curved. Uh, well, it's the only probe had the curved one, and you can see uh, fairly fairly well. Uh, you can see the vena cava, uh, the liver parenchyma, the portal vein. Um, you can start to see there's an effusion here and uh, there's the right kidney um, down in the pelvis, the uterus, and then fluid behind the uterus. And you know it looks okay but a little bit grainy. Um, and here's the liver again, hepatic veins, and the confluence with the inferior vena cava. But it's, you know, it's a workable image. Here's the, the heart, uh, you know, not great for the heart, but you could see something obvious, I guess. And again, the liver um, with uh, some ascites around the liver. But a lot of options to optimize the image. This is with the harmonics on and the image is a little bit clearer. See the portal vein, the the superior mesenteric vein, so not bad. But here's the uh, QSONO image, and you can immediately see that the image is a lot clearer. And uh, there's the right kidney. You can see some ascites. Um, you can see clearly the confluence of the hepatic veins, the inferior vena cava. Uh, down of the pelvis, the same image, but much more clear with uh, a uterus and then a lot of fluid behind the uterus. And uh, a lot of options to optimize this image. Um, 
Right now the harmonics uh, are not on and the frequency is set to 3.5 um, and you can see up above that the, it's in the abdominal settings. Uh, you can adjust the depth like this. Um, you can adjust the focus. You can change the frequency of the probe. But uh, all in all, a very clear image. And so this is the battery of the Sonos Star probe. Um, I've been looking to find one of these online, but haven't yet found it. Here's the battery of the Q Sono. It's a lithium polymer battery and uh, is a little more flexible than the other one. Here's the Q Sono. Uh, Pro with the various heads that are currently available uh, for purchase with the system. It comes in this beautiful case, which is clearly veterinary use only, but then it has a little picture of a human being, so go figure. To close, I'd like to just uh, include some more video uh, of use of the QSONO probe. This is with the curved uh, head. You can see my liver, right kidney, gallbladder fairly well. Um, you can uh, change the, uh, the frequency uh, and use harmonic imaging, uh, but then you have to increase the gain in order to see well. And then you can see my pancreas, head of the pancreas anyway, uh, aorta, SMA. And uh, it's a fairly good image and uh, usable and I would say is close uh, to the Sonosite, but not uh, uh, quite as good. But all in all, very usable. Uh, this is uh, a longitudinal view of the inferior vena cava, um, hepatic veins, and the liver. Here is the QSONO with the linear probe, and as you can see, the image is okay, but it's not uh, nearly as good as the uh, as the abdominal probe. Here's the carotid and the jugular, uh, the thyroid, um, just a little bit grainier than I would like, um, but y you can see the detail okay. Uh, the jugular vein is. Uh, being distended there. So there is another uh, high frequency probe, a linear probe that has a smaller footprint and uh, has a higher frequency and it may be that this probe gives a better image than the one that I currently have. Um, hard to say. Here's the app for the Sono Star probe and the app for the Q Sono. Uh, this is the eBay uh, page that I bought uh, the Sono Star from. And the Q Sono. My recommendation: buy the Q Sono. I think you'll be very pleased with it.